We're given this trapezoid and we're told that AD equals 3 fifths of BC. We're then asked to show that AE is 5 eighths of AD plus 3 eighths of AB. Okay, well, it's convenient for us to know that AD equals 3 fifths of BC partly because uh, it tells us that the vectors are actually parallel. So, excuse me, the sides of the trapezoid. So that tells us that this side is parallel to this side. That's convenient for us because we already know that this angle and this angle are equal, but now we know by the parallel lines that this angle equals this angle and this angle equals this angle. We have similar triangles. And since this side and this side are in the ratio of 3 to 5, then this side and this side are also in that ratio, and this side and this side are also in that ratio. That's good to know. Okay? So what we have are similar triangles. Now, we're told one piece of information, or sorry, we're asked to show that this vector here, AE, is equal to a linear combination of AD and AB. Well, to reorder them, we're asked to show that the vector in this direction is a linear combination of a vector in this direction and a vector in this direction. What we're going to do is write down the one linear combination of vectors in those directions that we know. Specifically what I mean is, we're going to write down that AC is equal to AB plus BC. Why would we do that? Because AC is in the same direction as AE. AB is clearly in the same direction as uh, 3 eighths AB. And BC is clearly in the same direction as 5 eighths AD. So again, AE is in the same direction as AC. 5 eighths AD up here is in the same direction as BC. And 3 eighths AB right here is in the same direction as AB itself. So I'm going to state that AC is equal to AB plus BC. Now we know that AE is equal to 3 eighths of AC. We know that because we're in the ratio 3 to 5. So this is 3 parts, this is 5 parts. So altogether from A to E is 3 over 8 of the whole. So I'm going to multiply AC by 3 eighths. Three eighths of AC is equal to, I have to do the same thing on the other side, three eighths of AB plus three eighths of BC. Okay? Now, I know what three eighths of AC is. Three eighths of AC is AE. Just to refresh your memory, three eighths of AC is A to E. So I write that down. Okay. Three eighths of AB is actually part of what I'm being asked to prove. So I'm going to leave that alone clearly. And now all I need to do is show that three eighths of BC is the same as five eighths of AD. Okay, well, in order to do that, we're going to rearrange the one statement we have in terms of BC and AD. See, what we're trying to do is convert 3 eighths of BC to 5 eighths of AD. So what we want to do is get a statement for BC in terms of AD. Well, we have that, only we have it in reverse. We have AD in terms of BC. 
So we're simply going to rearrange this and now it's going to say that 5 thirds of AD equals BC. Okay, just multiplied each side here by 5 thirds. And so now we can take this statement and plug it in back here. 3 eighths of BC is the same as 3 eighths of 5 thirds of AD. And when you add all these together, what you get is AE equaling 3 eighths of AB plus 3 eighths times 5 thirds is also known as 5 eighths AD. And we're done.